All right, target 42, I called a short while ago based on that gap, trying to knock out uh, and close that gap at 40 and a half, take out that 40.75. Anybody that's got that trade to 42s paid for sure. This is E from marketwizards.com and eminiwizard.com on the uh, 13th of August. 2019 and it's just before the end of IB. Make sure you use risk capital you can afford to lose, ladies and gentlemen. I said, turn your mind around. If you got beat, sometimes it's just as easy to go with the flow that's currently in play to get your capital back. So if you tried shorting, the easiest way to get it back on a day like today is to buy high and sell higher. And there probably aren't too many traders who enjoyed this whole run. But this was designed to knock out and close that gap. And probably one of the best charts to, to be looking at is a chart that we talked about here, like a three minute chart to see the rotations and understand. We said, let's use 22 support and try to see if we can't get another high on this leg because it's a squeeze move. Congrats if you got that move. Cover it and realis realistically, if you've had a great day, do nothing. You don't have to keep pressing your, your luck. Change the time frame. And by that, what I'm referring to is don't do everything in the same, uh, same time zone. You, you've traded IB, you've done great. Or you've done awful and then made your capital back and then you made some big. You know, the violation, once we violate, remember that nine and 10, once we violated that, then you've got to think, okay, we really got a rabid dog day reversal. So you want to go to a fast chart like this and say, all right, <laughs> cannot fight it. And then you could, and then you can see on a chart like this when it's pulling back into it. All right, let, let's try that. Okay, twenty to twenty-two support. Try to get there and close that gap. Violations are very important in this business. Once once you have a violation, then you want to say, okay, going the other way. And Taylor Day Three today, we said on. Two, this could be Taylor Day 3, the buy day. Sell, sell short, buy. That's the Taylor Day 3. All right, we're going to use 47 as our resistance, and that is last year's high. So anybody that wants to short, using that for resistance, anybody that wants that target, need a trailer. And there's no reason to do anything if you've had a good day and if you've made your VIG. 